Zelensky with Modern Machine Shop. I'm here with Michael Newcomb at Tri-State Tool Grinding in Cincinnati, Ohio. In spite of the name, Tri-State also does CNC machining. The newest machine here is the company's first horizontal machining center. Michael, why was it time for a horizontal at Tri-State? Well, the issues we were seeing was the complexity of the parts that we were doing on a vertical machine just entailed four or five different setups because different angles, different sweeps, all kinds of things were going on. So by utilizing a horizontal, we were able to create a fixture system that allowed us to turn five, four or five setups into two. Right. And we reduced cycle time by 80%. <laughs> So I think this part is an example of that. Yes, sir. Used to be run on verticals. Talk about the way it used to be set up, used to be processed. Well, the way we used to do it was it started off as a block, and the first thing we had to do was saw cut this angle. Right. Then we had to profile everything. Then in another setup, we had to deck off this material. Then we had to flip it over, put the channel in, flip it over, put the holes in, and then I think that was it. All right, so now talk about horizontal machining. What does the process look like now that you've got this horizontal? So now that we have the horizontal, we're able to hold on to the part and do everything on this side. And using these bolt holes, we were able to create a special fixture plate. So as it gets held in the machine now, we can index the pallet so we can rotate the part, put the channel in, rotate the part, put the face in and do everything in one more setup. Right, so what is the impact of that in terms of the time to produce this part? Do you know processing time before and after? We always kind of had to guess on the processing time right. before because of so many different machines and so many different setups, mm -hmm. but our best guess was we were about four hours into that part. Mm -hmm. We've got that down to 45 minutes. All right, so to adopt a horizontal, was there any additional investment required or was there any special learning that your team had to go through? The biggest challenge we faced was being able to program a horizontal using multiple offsets all within the same setup and we ended up having to utilize Mastercam for that hmm. and we spent weeks in training trying to get all of that figured out learning the tricks but I think that was probably the biggest hurdle was getting Mastercam down. The rest of it, the machine pretty much handled for us. So what kinds of parts are you assigning to it now? Or is there another example of a part that's really benefiting from this machine? Well, really any part that we have that needs multiple setups can pretty much be improved by putting it on this machine. Like this part is essentially the same example. If you, it's hard to see, but the backside is actually cut at an angle. So that will require a separate setup on a sign plate. And then the profile of it, this work, the different angles here, all of it kind of required multiple steps. But now we can put it in our machine and we have one setup to where it can rotate the part and put this angle on, rotate it and put this angle on. Mm -hmm. So we took two setups and turned it into one right away. Mm -hmm. And then we were able to do all the rest of the work in the second setup. And it's also true, you're running a lot of these at the same time, in the same cycle now. Yes, because of the size of the pallet that we're able to do, and it's a four-sided system, we can actually run up to 32 of those in one time. And as the machine's running, our operator's setting up the next set, so there's no downtime in between them. 